Sooner or later, we're all required to keep three appointments. The appointment with self, the appointment with God, and the inevitable appointment with death. We may avoid, deny, resist, ignore, and otherwise pretend that these appointments are not on our schedule. It doesn't matter. Life brings about these appointments whether we think we are ready or not. The first appointment is with self. It's amazing how we avoid ourselves. Few things contribute more to our collective sense that something is missing and that we are living someone else's life than the way we avoid ourselves. The quality of all of our relationships is determined by the quality of our relationship with ourselves. This is one of the many reasons the first appointment is critical. When we avoid this appointment, we limit all of our relationships. The second appointment is with God. We avoid God, run from Him, thinking that we want something other than what He wants to give us. But in running from God, we run from ourselves. Alienation from God is alienation from self. Only in union with God do we discover and become our truest self. When we discover how messy and difficult life is, we hear an urgent call to remake and rebuild the inner life. What was once an invitation quickly turns into a summons. Not the summons of a tyrannical God that demands we pay attention, but rather the summons of our own soul to pay attention before it wilts and dies. The third appointment is with death. It is the inescapable truth. It's not a negotiable assignment. Jack Nicholson is walking through a bar when he recognizes someone he knows. He doesn't stop, he doesn't even slow down. How are you, he asks. The guy begins to complain about something and Jack cuts him off. He says, we're all dying, act accordingly. Is it blunt? Yes. Is it true? Absolutely. We're all dying, but we don't act accordingly. Every man dies, but not every man really lives, was William Wallace's observation. Nobody fears death more than those who have not lived. Nobody fears death more than those who have not discovered who they are and offered that gift to the world. Death is inevitable, but a well-lived life is not. Consider this question. When you come to the end of your life, when death is undeniably near, what will bring you unmitigated joy? Unmitigated joy. Thinking about death is morbid, some people may say. I disagree. Far from being unhealthy, it is a valuable and meaningful exercise. Thinking too much about death can be morbid, but how much is too much? I suggest that you think about death only as much as is necessary to live life to the fullest. These three appointments help us to weed out the meaningless from the meaningful. They help us to prioritize what matters most and give us the courage to say no to what matters least. They build within us a true sense of self and few things are more important than that. These three appointments, in short, Keep us alert and aware of our blessings.